Tonight we're just thinking on some portions of scripture with our music interspersed between and in our prayers. You're invited to join in the words in yellow as usual and your name will appear on the screen, perhaps not in our usual format and order that we normally have, but just keep an eye for your name coming on the screen. So we'll begin with some words to still us. And Joanne, if you wouldn't mind helping still us with the words that's on the screen. Be silent, be still, aware, for there in your own heart the Spirit is at prayer. Listen and learn, open and find. Heart wisdom, Christ. And we'll join in and we'll listen to or sing along with There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son. There is a Redeemer. There is a first of our prayers led tonight by Anne. God, you are the first and the last, our Redeemer and our Rock, the one and only God. We have gathered together to worship you, to offer you our praise and thanksgiving, to once again affirm that you are our God and that we are your people. 
created by you long ago for your purposes. Open our eyes and hearts to your presence among us through your word and spirit. Challenge us to greater faithfulness and obedience so that we may be the people you intend and accomplish the work you have set out for us. In the name of our Saviour and Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Three readings tonight. Um, two from the Psalms, I think, and one from Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 44, verses 6 to 8. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Who is like me? Let them proclaim it. Let them declare and set it forth before me. Who has announced from of old the things to come? Let them tell us what is yet to be. Do not fear or be afraid. Have I not told you from of old and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock. I know not one. As we reflect on those words from Isaiah and the prayer that went before it, let's listen to Be still and know that I am God and the verse of uh, putting our trust in God. Our second reading from the Psalms, our first reading from the Psalms, our second reading is Psalm 86. And Hugh, can you please read us these verses 11 to 17. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the insolent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me, and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the child of your serving me. Show me a sign of your favour, so that those who hate me may see it, and be put to shame. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Amen.
Sandra. Prayer of petition. Teach me your ways, Lord, that I may come down from my heights and be open to the same spirit who moved over the face of the waters in the first day of creation and moves also over the chaos of the time to fashion a day like this, a world like ours, a life like mine, a kingdom acting as leaving in the bread of earth. And make me aware of the miracles of life, of warm and cold, of starkness and order, of screaming wind and impenetrable silences, and of the unfathomable mystery of amazing grace in which I am kept. Teach me your ways, Lord, that I may praise you for all the surprising, ingenious ways you bless me, for all the wondrous gifts you give me, along with all the pain and joy I sustain. Teach me your ways, Lord, that I may accept my own talent openly, nurture it hopefully, develop it faithfully and give it freely. Teach me your ways, Lord, that I may love your kindness and practice it towards the hungry of the world, the poor and the sick and the oppressed, that I may learn the healing humility that comes from you. Teach me your ways, Lord, so that my heart is flooded with your mercy, emptying it of what makes it firmly opposed to your ways, so that it beats more in rhythm with you and pounds greatly for your kingdom. Amen. Let's reflect on more words from scripture and more prayers as we listen to Wait for the Lord. As we have the, the music and words of Wait for the Lord still ringing in our ears, let's hear our third main reading tonight, Familiar Words, read by Nikki from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my light down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it's completely. You hem me in behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in shore, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea. Even there, your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, 
and the light around me becomes night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Let's join our hearts together as we, we've prayed for ourselves, we've given thanks and we now pray for, for others. There is a short response. Um, Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Who's got Alexa on? I'm so afraid. There's a short response, which is Lord hear our prayer if you wish to join in. You, O oh God, love us from the moment of our conception. You know us and you love us in the womb. You love us and you call us from before the moment of our first breath. And you love us when we first see the light of day. As a mother or father loves their child before they ever see it and then embraces it gently from the moment of its birth, so you love us, and we thank you. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. You love us, O oh God, from the time of our naming. You love us in our growing and hold us as we take our first steps. You love us and walk beside us as we explore the world with eager hands and eyes. As a mother and father love their child, as they see it grow and develop, so you love us and we thank you. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You love us, O oh God, as we mature and seek our way. You love as we become aware of the world around us. You love us as we smile and play. You even love us when we say no and when we begin to stray. As a mother and father love their child, as they see it become proud and tall, you love us even when we sin and fall. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We thank you, God, for loving us when we are unloving, for caring for us when we are uncaring, and for calling us when we go far away. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers of love this day for those around us, for those we have held before you in our time of sharing, and for those we have thought of in our moments of caring. We remember those known to us, and we hold people in our thoughts and our prayers this evening before you in a moment of silent prayer. We remember names that we bring before you weekly in church, Lord God. Our church members who are not able to be with us in church, who are poorly but recovering in those who have been able to come back to us. We remember particularly Archie and Alec, Mary, May, Isabel, Flora, 
Emma. And we are so grateful to see Linda back amongst us as we worship together on a Sunday. And we know that Sylvia worships every week, twice, in our Sunday worship and in our prayer service. And although she isn't able to get to church through the medium of YouTube and WhatsApp, she's able to, to worship with us in our home. We remember Kevin, Cheryl, and the children for what is a trying and hurtful time for them. We know that for everything there is a time and there is a season. There's times to laugh and there's times to cry. There's time to dance and there's there's time to sit down and be quiet. Those are polar opposites and we remember our man's family as they listen for your call and that they pray and discern for what their next steps are. We pray for, for Stanley, who's not here this evening, but he's our session clerk and he too has a burden and a weight on his shoulders and his minds at this time. Not only with Kevin being absent, but with the the day-to-day -day mundane runnings of a church, but also with Presbytery Mission planning, never far from anyone's phone or email, and never far from our thoughts. We pray for ourselves, gathered here tonight, some of us just back from holidays, some of us not feeling just 100%, and some of us who have a full week ahead, we pray for all of us that you give us strength and our own healing this evening. Finally, we pray for your church, that the church will be strong. The church, as we were reminded yesterday, will be bound together because we are one family. But families bicker. Families have stronger siblings and stronger brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles who are all vying to be the top dog. However, the top dog is you, Lord God, and we are just simply underneath your wings and your shadows and we listen for what you ask us to do. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all these things in the name of Christ Jesus, who is our Lord and our brother. Amen. Amen. And we're going to reflect just once more with Be Still and Know That I Am God.
Joanne. Joanne. If you could lead us in our final prayers, our final reading, sorry. James, James five. Okay. <laughs> if any of you are sick, they should call for the elders of the church, and the elders should pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. Prayer that comes from faith will heal the sick, for the Lord will restore them to health, and if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. And let's say together these words. Even those, Even those who have sinned, have sinned can rely, rely on the Lord Even those who have to guide, guide them, them to, guide, to heal to heal. In, in times, times of hardship, of hardship and, and, and sickness. sickness. Let's say these final short prayers for healing together, shall we? May the Lord, May the bless, Lord bless, bless and, and keep all who are unwell today. today. May the Lord, May the Lord let his face shine upon all who are struggling, struggling with, with ill health, health and, and sickness, sickness of body, body mind or spirit. or spirit, and may the Lord, may the Lord lift, lift up, up the shining light of his, of his, of his lovely face, face on all who are struggling today with various disease, disorders, and health problems. May he rise up with healing on his wings and look with deep compassion and mercy on all who need his strength today. May he pour into all their hearts the peace and love that only comes from the Father through the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we are, we are so, so thankful, thankful for, for the wonderful, wonderful doctors and nurses who always do their best to help us when we are sick or injured. But help us to remember that you are the great physician who is fully able to heal if it is your wing. Thank you, Thank you that, that when we are sick, sick we can we visit the doctor, but to help us, us to also come to you for, for healing. healing. Forgive us for, for the times, times that we have doubted, doubted you and tried, and tried to sort things out in our lives on our own. Give, give us a humble a heart, humble heart and, and increase our trust in you. May we never forget that your grace is sufficient for every eventuality of life. In Jesus' name, we conclude our prayers with the family prayer that Jesus taught those first disciples. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be thy done will be on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this give us day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our, our sins, sins, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. And lead us and lead not us into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 And all that we do tonight is for the glory of God. So we finish with a rousing song after our stillness and our quietness and our thoughtfulness. To God be the glory. From the Albert Hall, you might notice. Wow. <laughs>
And you all think I play that quick. <laughs> Let's say these blessing words together, which is the Gaelic blessing, and then we'll have our, our sung blessing, which someone will enjoy its return to after we've said it together. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May, May the, the sun, sun shine warm upon your face. face. The, the rains fall soft upon, upon your fields. And until, until we meet again, again. May, God May God hold you in the, in the palm of his, of his hand. hand. Oh.